Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. By supporting me in this video, just do me a favor and ensure you like the video. I will appreciate you so much for that like. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for that like. Now, Kenyans, it is now officially Raila Odinga's exit from the politics, or rather, let me say, active politics of the Republic of Kenya, as now you can see even the actions. Raila Odinga removing the photos of them being together with Martha Karua as him being the presidential candidate, Martha Wangari Karua as his running mate. He has removed the background photo of now the Azimio, and um, as he is now claiming that he is embarking to serious campaign for his bid, and now he is not going to involve himself, himself from the politics of the Republic of Kenya. On the same note, I have seen also, uh, of course, uh, certain reactions of Kenyans. And uh, a certain Kenyan said, a so-called chief guest said, that FY1 Baba still holds the following multi-bet positions. And uh, according to the chief guest, he is claiming, saying, that Rail Odinga is still having a multi-bet position on AUC candidate, core principal, broad-based government, as a meal party leader, official opposition leader, ODM party leader, and 2027 candidate. So that is what someone said, uh, responding to why Raila Odinga is now coming out to exit from the politics of the Republic of Kenya and now embarking to serious uh, politics of African Union Commission. On the same note, the Azimiro Moja One Kenya coalition leadership led by Kalonzo Msioka, Eugene Omalwa, Jeremia Kioni, uh, George Wajakoya, and several others, others like Peter Munya, and the Ritum Reidi, they are claiming that now going forward, that principle that is going to lead them is none other than uh, the former vice president of the Republic of Kenya, Kalonzo Musyoka. And going forward, Kalonzo Musyoka is going to be the leader of the Azimio because as Raila Odinga now is going out of the politics of the Republic of Kenya, it is now Kalonzo Musyoka who is going to con uh, control the Azimio Law Moja and Kenya coalition. Take a look at the video coming from the Kalonzo Musyoka Command Center. Uh, just to confirm to the country that uh, as we salute our leader, the Right Honorable Raila Molo Dinga, the man we all rallied behind as we went into the last general election, a man who received actually the greatest support across this country over eight regions out of six regions out of our eight regions supported him. The majority of the county supported him. Majority of constituencies supported him. We believe he won that election. But with what was decided, we accepted to move on. We salute him and we thank him for his leadership. Kwa ile azimio la umoja wa Kenya, he has done very, very well. Now we are releasing him. Aende kwa kazi ya azimio la umoja wa Afrika. Amekuwa baba wa Kenya na tunaamini anatosha kuwa baba wa Afrika. Ataendelea kuwa baba. But in Azimio there will be no vacuum. We are several parties, constant parties of Azimio, and we've been very blessed to have very serious leadership in our coalition. Right Honorable Raila Molo Dinga was the second Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya. And we believe he should have been the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya if Chebukati didn't do what he did. As he leaves, the next ranking member of the leadership of our coalition is the, is the Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, who was the 10th vice president of the Republic of Kenya. So as we stand before the nation, he's really, it's a case of the first amongst equals. And we have by consensus, and I believe many of us uh, who are in this coalition have all consented to him taking over the leadership of our coalition we have great faith in his leadership his experience as the second highest ranking uh, leader in our coalition a very experienced diplomat a great lawyer who has a clean record 
a man of God, a man of integrity. We have no doubt that even as Baba leads to Addis, there will be no lack of leadership in our great coalition. In fact, we'll just get stronger. From tomorrow, we start the journey. We will be having our first town hall meeting at Ufungamano. We will be engaging uh, the Gen Zs and the youth of Kenya, private sector. Uh, we will be engaging civil society on matters of defending this constitution, wide-ranging matters from education, the model that uh, Babu Owino, who was a great student leader, has talked about. We will be engaging to look at all these matters of devolution, and we'll be looking at how we will then be charting the way forward as a coalition to take this country to the next level as a government in waiting. Thank you very much. But again, when you look at Raila Odinga's um, African Union Commission bid, it's like disappointing some individuals who thought, like, the support of Raila Odinga was automatic. People like Kalonzo Musioka and other principals in the Zimiro Omoja on Kenya Commission. The agreement in 2022 was Kalonzo Musioka to step down for Martha Wangari Karua, but for him to support the Azimio candidate, uh, candidacy, that is Raila Udinga and Martha Wangari Karua. And so then 2027 was going to be Kalonzo Musioka. And the assurance was that Raila Udinga, together with his basis, political basis, was going to support Kalonzo Musioka. So Kalonzo Misoko is a worried man, and even you can see the body language is not so much um, having momentum, politically speaking, because you can see even the, 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 their speech and their press is not giving Kenyans assurance that, that they are strong, they can lobby Kenyans behind them as we are approaching the next general election. But again, one thing that also I've seen from the Azimula Umoja One Kenya Coalition is that the other day, Martha Karua withdrew from the Azimio La Laomoja One Kenya Coalition as she said that she was going to prepare her own political momentum because um, being in Azimio was not tenable as she claimed. And so when Martha Karua left, Raila Udinga is now leaving for African Union Commission bid campaign. On the same note, Raila Udinga deleting the background photos and some several photos there. Remember, uh, it is just a confirmation that now Raila Udinga is leaving the leadership to other individuals who are likely to be uh, the leaders of Azimilo Omojo and Kenya Coalition. Another thing that I've also realized is that Raila Udinga's fight was that as he was leaving, as he was leaving for the AU seat, Watoto wake wanakaje? Au watoto wake wa siasa? Wanabaki aje. And that is why Raila Odinga fought hard to ensure at least watoto wake wako somewhere. And that is why unapata some his of members are in the government. And they are seriously endorsing none other than William Samuel So on Friday you will see the two of Raila uh, William Ruto in CIA. And he is expected to have a homecoming um, ceremony of Opio and I. That is my home uh, constituency, Ugunja constituency, somewhere called Sidini. That is the place that w William Ruto will be on Friday. And you can see how now the emergence of the Luo leadership now coming out to endorse William Samuel Ruto. Not just by the endorsement, but again as preferred candidate for 2027. I have seen many of them saying that if William Root is going to continue like this and going to be with them, giving them positions and giving them development, then going forward, they are going to support William Root 2027 to be re-elected. In fact, when you can see that scenario, is that now the political kids of Raila Amorodinga, they are now on a safe hand, according to Raila Odinga. Kuawacha pale azimio wange korogana. No. But sasa amewaacha mahali. That is according to what I've seen. And so azimio vile mebaki, awe nyomebaki wajipangi. Wajipa? Wajipangi. Iyo ndo kitu mimi najaribu kuangalia kwa yusu ya sainya naedalea. But again, all in all, you've seen the support that Raila Udengi is trying to have in terms of the East African uh, community 
You've seen Tanzania confirming their support, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, um, of course, South Sudan, several uh, countries like Somali, when William Ruto said that they apologize because they were invited to this launch, but they were so um, engaged somewhere. So I think, Kenyans, uh, the politics dynamics are going to change with time. It will not be the same as the politics of 2022. It's going to, to change totally. And that is the prospect and the trajectory we are having as political uh, politics is so concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.